I'm William Baziu, Dean School of Public Health, Makere University, Lab Director and Chief of Party, RAN. RAN stands for Resilient Africa Network, which is a network for 20 African universities from 16 African countries. RAN works with Stanford University and Tulane University as our partners from the U.S and it is funded by USID Washington. RAN stands for creating resilience at community level for the people of Africa who have suffered and undergone a lot of stress and shocks from disasters of all nature. RAN started November 2012, in response to the RFA that was set by USID, RAN is prepared to create resilience for the people of Africa. We will use universities to go to the communities. We are taking the universities from the university to the communities, using our students and faculty to go down to the communities see what hurts our people, and then come back to our labs and design homemade innovations. And we go back to the communities and we implement them. RAN is prepared to work with those who have been in innovation, including Stanford, which is known for the innovations in the Silicon Valley. RAN is going to work with Haiti, experiences that are drawn by Tulane University, where hate we know they have had shocks and stresses. We are going to work with the universities in the region. In each region, we have universities. We have the West Africa, led by Ghana. We have the Horn of Africa, led by Ethiopia. We have East Africa, led by Uganda, or Makerere. And we have South Africa, led by University of Pretoria. The purpose for distributing these regional labs, what we are going to call the labs of innovation, is because we want to cover the whole of Africa. An innovation out of Ghana will serve the purposes of people in Ghana, Mali, Senegal, Burkina Faso, and other countries of that region. An innovation out of Ethiopia will serve Southern Sudan, Somalia, and Kenya. An innovation out of Uganda will serve Uganda, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, and the DRC. And South Africa will cover South Africa, Zimbabwe, and the neighboring countries. So RAN is for the whole of Africa. Lastly, RAN has put together expertise from both Africa and the US to work together on innovations. We are not starting from zero. We are starting from the data that is already existing in the communities. Communities have been resilient, but some of them have not. Different communities have suffered same shocks, but they react differently. USID and US government has invested a lot of dollars in Africa to fight or to help communities to become resilient. We are building on that. We want to make sure that the dollars that are invested in Africa are for the people creating resilience at that level. Household. How do households get helped to become resilient? To floods, to earthquakes, to conflicts, displacements, all this is going to be addressed by Iran.